Hi guys, it's a beautiful Monday, a beautiful start to the week. Let's talk about a little motivation today. In 2 Corinthians 12, 9, we are told, But he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you. My power is perfected in weakness. So when you feel weak, when you feel like you don't have enough strength to get through it, ask Jesus for help. I promise you he will give it to you and he will give you all of the strength you need to get through anything. That's what he's there for, is to help you, is to lighten your load. Let him do so. When we talk about mental health, we are talking about being strong and confident and seeing accomplishments happen in our lives. And sometimes that's really difficult. In 1 Corinthians 15, 58, we are told, therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, be steadfast, immobile, always excelling in the Lord's work because you know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. And what this means is that when you do work that you know God would be proud of, or you're doing work directly to help the Lord, whether that's talking to someone about God, whether that's serving someone in need, whether it's doing something behind the scenes to help people out. That work is not in vain. And even though it may seem like a really difficult time in your life, that work matters. Our God is an amazing and awesome God. And in Isaiah 61, we are told, Arise, shine for your light has come and the glory of the Lord shines over you. When you believe in God, his light is everywhere in your life. He shines over every aspect of your life. So let him in and let him shine over you and let your life shine because of him. Our faith tells us a lot of the time to believe in things that we cannot see. But Jesus tells us in John eleven forty, Didn't I say to you that if you believed, you would see the glory of God? Jesus is the only way through him to see the Father. And we can see him by looking towards Jesus. Even today, even here on earth, when you believe, when you see yourself living the life that Jesus wants you to live, you will see the wonders of God every day. The simple things like getting up and the flowers blooming and the amazing things like prayers being answered when someone is sick and they are healed. So when we look to Jesus, we will see the wonders of God just as he promised. When we are struggling, it can seem like everything is spiraling out of control and nothing stays the same and we have nothing to hold on to. But in Isaiah 40 verse 8, we learn that there is one thing that is always consistent. The grass withers, the flowers fade, but the word of our God remains forever. And just like his word, God is always the same. He always loves us. He always will protect us and keep us. So when you are struggling, call out to him. I promise you he's the same God that he was yesterday as he is today and that he always will be. When we build and delight in the relationship that we have with God, he is going to take delight in our relationship with him. God wants a relationship with us. And in Psalms 32, 4, it says, Take delight in the Lord, and he will give you your heart's desires. We know God is, will answer our prayers for our needs and our wants when we ask him. But when we take that delight, when we take time to thank him and appreciate him and take delight in everything that God has given us, then those prayers mean so much more to both us and our Father, because we're respecting him, we're treating him with the love and respect that he treats us. So build that relationship, enjoy it. It is the most pure form of love you will ever experience. I talk a lot on this channel about doing things in love, and that's because this is one of the most important lessons that Jesus gave us, that we are to love each other, love everything about each other. And we're told about this again in 1 Corinthians 16, 13 through 14. Be alert, stand firm in the faith, be courageous, be strong, and do everything in love. Because when we do, 
or following God's ultimate commandment to love others without judgment, without question, without asking them to conform to any form of lifestyle or beliefs that we have. We're asking them to follow the example that we lead in love. And that's the ultimate form of living as Jesus wants us to live. Hi friends, it's my favorite time of week again. It's my time for me to offer you the gift of prayer. You don't have to tell me what you need prayers for, just tell me you need a prayer and I will gladly pray for you, your loved ones, your needs, anything that you need prayers for. I would love to pray for you. I truly believe in the power of prayer. I've seen prayers answered, difficult ones, ones about medical conditions, jobs, personal prayers of my own in the same situations. And I know prayer works. God listens to us. God wants to help us. So how can I pray for you? And let's start this week off great.